In response to the objection that many structures and traits in the world seem to exist purely for the sake of beauty, Charles Darwin wrote, this doctrine, if true, would be absolutely fatal to my theory. Darwin understood that beauty did not easily fit into his theory of natural selection, so he created a second famous theory called sexual selection. Was he able to successfully dodge this fatal hole in his theory? It's an important question, so let's talk about it. Darwin's book On the Descent of Man is largely dedicated to the theory of sexual selection. Despite being a scientific publication, the word beauty is used 280 times. Sexual selection manifests itself in two ways. The first is the law of battle. This is when two males compete for the prize of a female, with the victor then passing on its superior genes to its offspring, resulting in increased body mass, larger horns, and so on. And yet, Darwin knew that many, perhaps most, beautiful traits cannot be accounted for in this way. Thus, the second mechanism of the theory is the taste for the beautiful. Here, the agency shifts from the male to the female, as the female selects mates on the basis of her own aesthetic preferences. However, by introducing a mechanism of arbitrary beauty, Darwin opened Pandora's box, unleashing an explanation for beauty which has never been able to fit back into the neat and tidy framework of Darwinian theory. The primary flaw of sexual selection is what I call the what-why divide. Sexual selection can perhaps explain the what of beauty and aesthetics, but it can't explain the why. It can tell us that beauty helps attract new mates and produce more offspring, but it can't tell us why these traits are considered attractive. Sexual selection fails to answer the pivotal question of beauty beyond merely observing that it exists. It's one thing to say that we are driven by a taste for the beautiful. It's another thing to explain why we have these tastes. The implication is that beauty is valued because it's beautiful, but such circular reasoning is far from helpful. For a theist, an explanation for beauty can be built on the foundation that it's the gift of a divine creator who made a colorful world and then gave humans the sensory ability to suck out all the marrow of life, as Thoreau famously wrote. But by introducing this theory of natural selection, Darwin did away with this foundation for aesthetics. And, as evident by the failure of sexual selection, he never found a suitable replacement. Hey guys, really appreciate you checking out this video, and I hope you'll continue to collide with your world for Christ.